What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So I know it's been a while since I uploaded a YouTube video. Um, that's mainly because, man, I haven't had anything really to upload, especially when it comes to Diablo. However, um, we did find that the interactive map has been updated. So today's video is going to be talking about the interactive map and kind of Nahantu here. So that way you can kind of see and explore with yourself. A link to this of d4planner.io will be down in the description below. And uh, that way you can kind of check it out for yourself and just kind of see things. Um, this is the brand new area here that is going to be coming to the expansion of Diablo 4 on October 8th which is two weeks and one day away i know it's been an absolute pain diablo 4 has been completely dead for weeks now and we're just all trying to fill the void until we can get to um the eighth so yeah we got this map here so i'm going to talk about a few things i've highlighted some stuff over here you can check out a lot of this stuff on here which i think is really cool but first and foremost you can tell that it is a very large area it's roughly the same size as um you know the other five sections same thing as fracture peaks dry steps kajistan Havazur, and scotland so um nahantu is the same now i will say in the uh early stages when i got to actually test this and, and play this early um we got this section here uh to test and then obviously uh, we got to go all the way down to here so to the festering dark which i uploaded a video talking about this stronghold down here um which is really really cool so um the new area is pretty cool the theme is very very nice so when you guys go check out those videos on my channel or other creators um you'll see that which i think is great so first few things that we got to talk about you see the waypoints here it looks like we have about what is this one two three four five waypoints that we can get to and a, uh, one of them is going to be or two of them are going to be unlocked behind the strongholds here which you can see which we have three strongholds in the area which is nice it plays on theme with the rest of the map right every zone has three um strongholds which is really unique um next we do have the uh campaign dungeons so it looks like all these dungeons here that are highlighted as the gold stars here these are going to be dungeons related to the campaign at least based on the map here i hope that is the case when you go through the campaign which i think is going to be great um, I'm very, very excited to continue the campaign for Diablo 4 and just kind of see where the story takes us with Mephisto and all his, uh, you know, plans that he has for us. Now, next, another one I want to talk about is the Tenet of, uh, was it Akrat? So it's these little shrines here that you can see. And there's a bunch. I'm assuming that these are going to be the shrines that are correlated with the Altars of Lilith. Because when I select the Altars of Lilith, we don't have any that appear here. I'm just assuming that these are the Altars. It makes complete sense because there's so many of them here. Um, and, you know, if you don't know already, when we get access to this zone on the 8th, we do have to go do all the strongholds. We got to go get all the altars. We have to explore the entire area. So that way we can get all of our renown points and use those renown points for, you know, our skill points and then the Paragon board, right? So we have to do all that on this zone again. So, I mean, not again, but for the first time, you're going to have to do that with this zone. It shouldn't be too difficult. Um, you know, it's only one zone as opposed to having to do five again. So once you do it again for the very first time and you clear all this, you grab all the altars, defeat all the strongholds and max your renown for Nahantu, you won't ever have to do it again, just like you don't have to for the uh, previous zones. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool that I guess they, they're just calling them something else here because it's Nahantu, but I'm assuming that these are going to be the altars of Lilith. All right, we got a lot of dungeons here, which I think are great. And you can click on these. I know this isn't confirmed or anything, but you do get to see a lot of the abilities for the Spiritborn here, which I think is cool. So if you click on these, you can see the different aspects that you're going to have access to and be able to um, get. So you can kind of pre-plan some of the your builds if you would like. I know some creators have already been pre-planning um, builds for the Spiritborn, which I think is cool. But again, all of this is not confirmed as far as what aspects are here. I'm going to assume that they are, but it's not 100% confirmed. So don't hold me uh, to this stuff when you're clicking on these in the comments, guys. Don't be too brutal. Um, next is the layers, right? You got the little layers here. Um, so it's interesting that we don't have a boss layer here. I thought that that was very interesting when looking at this map. I feel like the, the devs are trying to hide that. I think that there is going to be a boss. So you can see the little boss pendant here for... 
the graping crevice or crevasse, crevasse, cre crevasse, uh, for, um, what was that? I, dude, I haven't played Diablo in so long, I forgot which boss this is. Uh, you guys let me know down in the comments. Gosh, that's bad. Um, but yeah, so, uh, Lair, we didn't see one here on Nahantu. I'm really hoping that we will get one for Mephisto, but if the devs don't give us this, then it's going to be bad. I think that's going to be a huge L if we don't get a boss for Mephisto in this zone. I think that's going to be a huge L on the game. Um, but we'll see what happens, right? We'll see We'll see what goes down. I just definitely wanted to highlight that because Lair is here. And it's just it's just really interesting that we didn't get, the, get it to show up. Um, but yeah, anyway. All right, so Strongholds. I want to talk about the Strongholds because I did do this one down here. And I want to talk about this because I did it in the video, guys. We got three Strongholds here. And I really like the different aspect that's going on in here if you guys go check out the video I, I posted a whole video about me doing this stronghold which is the festering dark which you have to carry around a lantern to highlight and light your path through the uh stronghold which i think was very unique it, it, it does something different to the strongholds and with the strongholds becoming such a leveling mechanism for next season i think it's going to be really cool to see what the other two strongholds are going to be like in nahantu so uh, that is now obviously that's before the campfire that comes guys and all the changes i have a huge huge inclination that the strongholds are going to get nerfed so bad that we're not going to be doing them for leveling whatsoever so we'll probably just do these uh, strongholds just for the the simplicity of completing the renown uh, i'm pretty confident that the devs are going to nerf the exp from the strongholds into the ground so uh because we we can't have fun in this game um, but, uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, guys, I think that's all the things that I really wanted to highlight here. Uh, I think Nahantu is going to be really cool. I think you guys are going to really like it. If you go check out the gameplay that I have on my channel here, highlighting the, the sections of the map and stuff. It's really, really cool. I love the theme. Um, but yeah, guys, this map, I'll link it down in the description below. Um, it's going to be really, really cool to explore this and you can already see where all the the altars and stuff are so that way you're not completely lost you can go knock the renown part out i'm assuming it's going to take you a couple hours after you finish the campaign which i think is very very cool so yeah nahantu section of the map hopefully we'll get another one on this side in the next expansion it just seems to continue to grow so uh yeah if we if we like show all it just shows like you know where the like all the mystery boxes and stuff would be all the legions here you got this which is a unique elite blood lightning which is weird i guess there's those things then you got the quadrant where the world boss is going to spawn um you got campaign quests which i think is cool you can kind of see where that is uh yeah these these uh skull burner unique el elites i don't know why we have unique elites if we're not going to get like certain gear pieces from them so i hope we do get those that would be super cool but because it looks like there's almost one in every zone. No, there's three. Okay, so there's three. So we got one, two, no, three, four. So there's four unique elites that are just, these are like the unique elites that you're running around for. And they used to drop cool items, but they took that away because those items were too strong during the leveling process. So again, no fun. But yeah. All right, guys, this is Nahachu. I wanted to make this video because this information came to the surface. Um, so yeah, enjoy the map guys. Check it out. pre plan all your stuff, your builds, the routes you're going to take, etc. Have fun with it, man. And I appreciate everybody who's been supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it, even though we haven't had literally anything to post. All we've been doing is, uh, streaming. We are finishing up the Warhammer 40,000 campaign and ops. So if you guys want to join me, uh, during the live streams, three days a week for that, that would be awesome. We're almost finished. So it's been real fun to do the campaign there. So. Yeah, guys, appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.